Matter and Energy and Ecosystems Unit Lesson 3.2, Total Carbon in an Ecosystem. Activity 2, Reread Carbon in the Global Ecosystem. Let's think about how our question relates to the activities we've been doing. If the amount of carbon changed in one part of a closed ecosystem, what happened to the carbon in the rest of the ecosystem? Carbon moves constantly through different parts of an ecosystem. The article we read in the last lesson discussed how this happens. In the warm-up, you thought about whether an increase in one part of the ecosystem meant that there would be an increase in the total amount of carbon in an ecosystem. Think about the cause and effect relationships you discovered related to ecosystems and carbon. These ideas may have helped you predict how increasing carbon in the atmosphere would affect the total amount of carbon on Earth. We will continue to focus on this investigation question in today's lesson. As student ecologists, it's your job to learn as much as you can before making your reports to the Econauts about what went wrong in the biodome. To help get more evidence to answer the investigation question, you'll revisit part of this article. Remember, it's, an important, it's important to read like a scientist and make annotations. First, let's review some of the annotations you made during your first read of this article in the previous lesson. Today, you'll reread the fourth, fifth, and sixth paragraphs of the article. You'll highlight evidence that relates to your question and then write an answer. Students, reread paragraphs four, five, and six. Choose one or two ideas from the article that helped you answer the investigation question and discuss them with your partner. End of activity.